Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at a few C28 lock and security equipment exam questions. Which item would prevent an exit device from being fire rated? The correct answer is B. Dodging assembly. Which pair of hardware finishes are the same? The correct answer is C. 613 and US 10B. When selecting a power supply for a job using 0.7 amps electromagnetic locks, which is the best power supply? The correct answer is D, 4.0 amps. So these are just a few of the thousands of possible questions that could appear on the C28 license exam. Obviously, you're gonna really need to be familiar with plans and specifications, system design, project and material cost, doors, frames, wiring, lock cylinders, safety will also be a very huge part of the exam. Again, there's thousands of possible questions. Many of them are going to be math related and they cover varying aspects of this specific trade. 25% of the exam covers planning and estimating, 20% covers installation, repair, and maintenance of doors and hardware, 18% covers installation, repair, and maintenance of electronic locking systems, 20% covers installation, repair, and maintenance of mechanical locking systems, 5% covers repair and maintenance in installation of safes, vaults, and other security containers, and 12% covers safety. What we've done is we've taken everything on the exam and virtually everything you need to know about the trade, uh, and we've summarized it into cliff note formats with complete diagrams and breakdowns of everything that's on the exam. It's presented to you in a clearly written way with examples and descriptions. This could come in the form of either ebooks or physical study guides. You'd get online practice tests, online videos, mathematics course to review all of those math related questions on the exam. And again, all of our courses include an application review to ensure that your application is filled out correctly before you send it off to the CSLB. You can check out our C28 crash course in the links below this video. We've got two other videos that go a lot deeper into the law side of the exam, as well as a little bit more information on what type of math you can expect on the C28 license. You're definitely gonna wanna check out that video. And we've got another one that goes into the requirements. So what kind of requirements do you need to get a C28 license? Uh, how to fill out the certification of work experience and a lot more really valuable information. So you're gonna wanna check out those two videos. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.